Good morning, kindergartners. I am here to go over and begin our informational or all about zebra writing. So hopefully you listened or read some information about zebras already. Um, and then we're going to do a chart with can, have, and are. Put some facts on here so we can pull them for our writing. All right. So the first important thing to learn about zebras is where do zebras live, right? And that is called an animal's habitat. Can you say habitat? Habitat. So an animal's habitat is where they live. Where do zebras live? Yeah, they live in the plains of Africa. They live in Africa, um, like the other animals we've studied. And they live in groups called herds. Can you say herds? Herds. So zebra's habitat are the herds are in Africa, but they live in herds. So I put live in herds, plains of Africa. All right. So let's see what zebras can, have, and are. So I have some facts here, and let's see which one it goes under. So I have a mane. Zebras have a mane. That is um, right here on their head, a mane. What other animal has a mane? Yeah, a lion, a male lion has a mane. Stripes, zebras have stripes. Zebras have stripes. What color stripes do zebras have? Black and white stripes. So this week we can focus on making our sentences a little bit stronger and more detailed. And you can say that zebras have black and white stripes. So right here where it says stripes, I'm going to put black and white stripes so I can remember I can make that more detailed. All right, let's see what else I have here. Ooh, do you know what zebras eat? Do they eat meat or plants? They eat plants, so they're called herbivores. So zebras are herbivores. What kind of things do zebras eat? They eat plants. What other kinds of things? Yeah, I wrote here that they eat grass, roots, and berries. So to make that sentence stronger, zebras are herbivores that eat grass, roots, and berries. So I'm going to put those ones together. So I remember I can put those in one sentence right here together to make it a stronger sentence. Ooh, this is something interesting about zebras. They groom each other. Do you know what grooming means? It means cleaning each other. So zebras can groom each other. They keep each other clean. Do you know what kind of animal a zebra is? It is a mammal. We've been studying mammals and zebras are also mammals. So zebras are mammals. What else do we know about zebras? They have these black and white stripes. And what do those black and white stripes help them do? That special word, cam, camouflage. Zebras can camouflage. And camouflage protects the zebras um, from predators. Something else that protects the zebras from predators are the ability for zebras to run fast and they can kick their back legs. So that helps them get away from things. So zebras can run fast and kick. Something else I thought was interesting about zebras is how they sleep. Do they lay down in the grass? No, I know horses do this too. They sleep standing up. They just, standing isn't a big deal for them. It's like sitting. They just sleep standing up. So zebras can sleep standing up. That also protects them because then they can wake up and just start running right away. All right. Do you know what kind of animals like to hunt zebras? Hyenas and lions. We studied lions last week. Hunted by hyenas and lions. Zebras are hunted by hyenas and lions. That's a long one over here. All right. So now we've learned some things about zebras. We're going to think for our writing, what facts do I want to teach someone about? What could I teach someone that would be interesting about zebras? So everyone take a minute and think. All right, so 
right here's a good chance to pause it if you need a chance to think about what you're going to write about. I paused and um, wrote my writing so that I can share it with you and give you some ideas on what you can do in your writing. Our goal this week is try to write three sentences if you can about zebras and some matching picture to go with it. I, um, one of my students did a chart where there was four pictures and the pictures went with what they wrote about. So I tried, I took from one of my students this week and um, went with that strategy for my picture instead of one big picture of a zebra. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So here's my writing this week. I wrote, let me tell you all about zebras. So that's my introduction. I'm telling you what I'm going to be writing about. Let me tell you all about zebras. And here come my three facts about zebras. Zebras are herbivores that eat grass and berries. They have black and white stripes. Zebras live in herds in Africa. And then my conclusion, I hope you learned a lot. Okay, so my picture today has grass and berries because I wrote that zebras eat grass and berries. It has stripes because I said zebras have stripes. I said zebras live in herds in Africa. So I drew two zebras so we know that more than one live together and that they live in Africa. And I drew, drew Africa right here. So what I'm going to do is now that I've drawn my picture and colored it, I'm going to label the things in my picture. Okay. All right, so now I've labeled it. I have berries right here and grass, stripes, I put the plains because they live in the plains in Africa. And this is my herd over here, herds. So I've drawn pictures that match my words and I've labeled my pictures around. All right. I hope you have fun learning and writing about zebras this week. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. Good luck. Bye.